All right, we have got here uh, since last check-in uh, some additional takes and information on uh, Josh's opinion about the Jessica stuff. Going into a little more detail about things and talking about uh, how things happened the way they happened last time. And then uh, I'm going to go check out some very <laughs> concerning things over on Jessica's Facebook that uh, it's, it's, it's got to be illegal. Some, some of the things that she uh, posted on there in the past day also seems a lot like like some kind of blackmail anyway. But first... He's got this video, Mead update and rant. I kind of skipped a lot of the Mead stuff. It's way too long, so I cut down to some of the relevant stuff like I usually do. And then after that, he posted a bunch of stuff in the past day, like cooking a steak, but he also he doesn't have a phone camera. So like I think he's just like talking about cooking it or like showing it process or something as he walks back and forth i'd imagine i don't know but anyway let's start with his update here so last night i put just a little bit more yeast in my uh mead i noticed it wasn't foaming up like it normally does who could have foreseen this Not a whole lot but just a little bit more and i added another cap full of yeast nutrients and i'm gonna strain the mead out on the 25th of september it'll this be going about away? 13 days from yesterday should be a tasty little mead, man. It won't be go. done till like, Halloween. We know. You know, I want a nice big old jar of chocolate banana flavored honey wine. Man, bet Jessica wishes he would look at her the way he looks up at his, his mead brewing up on the shelf over there. He looks so content. Be, uh, should be interesting, to say the least, but I'm looking at it right now. Boy's never been happier. Oh. And now I can see little fermentation bubbles. Because last night I wasn't seeing it, you know? Normally after you pour the, uh, a little bit of yeast in there, like it's just turbo yeast within a couple of hours, you'll see it start to do its thing. And last night I wasn't seeing it, so I was like, what? What's going on with the sideburns? What's, what's the deal? Uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and bananas. Why, why not, you know? So that's the good news of this video. So I'm like, all right, now we're cooking with gas. Bad news, I found out that Jessica Boyle is basically basically eBaying for another trip to Casper. Right. I don't know if he forgot that he mentioned this already. I'm like, could this take a f hint? You know, I broke up with her. I told her this the first time around. And the only t reason why I let her in the first time is because I made a mistake. I made a f mistake she had alcohol she's like can we just talk about the like mature adults so he admits uh he, she showed up to his door with alcohol and he was like all right come on in please uh, uh f it, you know i'm not taking her back but the boy saw a bottle of alcohol and was like you know what let's give it a shot it's i'm not gonna let let her burden my fans with this whole oh could you buy me a hotel room please uh it. She literally went on her Facebook and she was like, I'm going to go live on my Twitch so I can get money to make another trip to Casper and hotel, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if he knows you already said this part. Like, would you take a hint? We broke up, you stalker psycho. Jessica Boyle is mentally deranged. She's got mental problems. She said so herself on her channel. Bro, you let her in, though. You let her in. And when I repeat the information that she said on her channel, I'm going to ask for bringing up her personal information. She mm. doesn't have that mental disconnect. It's completely psychotic. Uh, it's not going to happen a second time. Fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice, shame on me kind of thing, you know? Yeah. I'm not having it. I told Jessica boy we broke up, but she thinks, oh, please, we can make it work out. I'm like, no. You, you fill me without my consent. And then on top of that, you push me to my breaking point with your mental bull****. Then you lie to me about how long you've been streaming. You know, Chris tells True. Courtney she's hanging out with me. Instead of ignoring it, what does she do? She secretly records me while we're hanging out on her live Instagram live. It doesn't tell me she's recording a video. What kind of dumb shit is that? And now people found out because of her. Uh, she, mm. she doesn't think, you know, sick of this. Shit. Everybody wants to accuse me of stalking my former crushes. And I, I would never do some shit like that, you know? Um, I guess he doesn't count him uh, hanging out with, is it Walt and Angie? Uh, you know, just to hang out with some old people and definitely not to just be closer to their daughter, because that would be weird. I guess he's uh, obviously not 
not counting that. You kidding me? You know? And then once you, you, you witness actual stalking, nobody gives a shit because I'm a guy. I'm a dude. They look at me and go, how is it stalking when, you know, have you heard what the feminazis are saying? All men are racist, perverts, and creeps. So His favorite thing, gender relations and uh, double standards. Only men are cap- capable of doing it, I guess. You. God. So here's my new cell phone. It's not ready yet. I had oh boy. to redo the case with some spray paints because the, the case itself, I didn't like the color of it, you know? I didn't. I'm not going to waste 50, 60 bucks for a new iPhone case when I got a room full of spray paint. I mean, you could, well, actually, I was going to say you could get one for like five bucks, but I think he needs, he needs super heavy duty, really, to save it from himself. You know what I'm saying? I put some painter's tape on the inside of it, and just did the outside of it, it looks cool, I like the way I did that. However, I'm not going to be able to do anything with it until Monday, because it's one of my... Better not be spray painting inside, boy. I remember his old phones, greatly appreciated on that, and I tried to reset the phone, delete everything, and then upload my old phone to that. It wasn't having it, so I want to take it into, uh... The cell phone store and have them work their magic on it. But I'm not able to do that until Monday, which I don't mind waiting. So he got the phone from a relative? I guess he was asking around to people, like, anyone got an old phone I could use? Someone came through. You know, I ordered a refurbished cell phone from the website I normally get it from. This is the first time in a... That I've ever had a problem with it. The phone I ordered will not turn on. And when it does turn on, Incredible. it shuts stuff off. I'm like, well, this is karma for all the phones I've broken. I bet he probably could have gotten, like, the battery replaced. I don't know. But who knows what else is, could be wrong with it. So I'm calling around asking my family or my friends or whoever on my family manages to dig up a very, very old iPhone. But it's newer than the one I have. So I'm like, eh, what are you going to do, you know? Beggars can't be choosers. At least it won't be, like, unlocked and refurbished. So it'll probably work a little bit better, you know? And it's like, well, I kind of need... Well, I mean, refurbished usually means that they fixed it up. Cell phone because I uh, got to do cameo shoutouts. And conveniently, I forgot my iTunes password, so I want to reset that. Uh, I appreciate y'all booking the cameo <laughs> shoutouts, man. If I can't get to it by the time I get my phone fixed, I will give the ones I missed a free shout-out for their troubles, because I appreciate... They have no website option? They t- I don't know. Actually, I don't know if you can upload. There's got to be something. People booking me on cameo, you know, Christ. It's the weekend, and I am out of... Actual gotta get him like uh a, gotta get him one of those like iPad minis with like the ridiculously like over molded rubber case for like a toddler. A couple cigar butts and bags. Just bounce and off like, walls. Tubes, you know, and I, I broke them up into a bag. I'm like there you go, Vacha the light. That's what I call that. <laughs> now about circling back to this Jessica Boyle. Bull- I broke up with her. Anyway, Every back to Jessica. Every time she comes to Casper, there's always drama fighting and the cops showing up to my place. She got me kicked out of my last apartment. Granted, okay, I'll extend an olive branch. It's not, it's not, it's not all completely Jessica's fault. The trolls didn't help the situation by harassing the Kikisha doors nonstop for the last six years. So we're back on him saying that she got him kicked out with with the help of trolls. So- that. And last time Jessica Boyle was here, she saw, and I quote, the beer bottle on my shelf that I collected. <laughs> she's like, well, what kind of flavor of beer is this? And I said, it's chocolate flavored beer. It's my new favorite beer. She goes, I want to try some. And there's this one liquor store I could order it from via DoorDash, but that liquor store is out of stock, you know? So I'm like, oh, what do you Joshy, I want to try it. So I told Jessica, I says, I'll buy you a four pack of it when you get back to Virginia. And like a man of my word, I did that. I don't, after all that crap that they went through for the her her trip back where he let her back in that's wild that he was like well i did say i was gonna get it for her and you know what she did a she man of his word put in my face buying me beer is not an apology you manipulated blah 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 and i'm like if anyone is manipulative it's jessica boyle and she Ooh. refuses to see it she's literally delusional to her own reality. Oh, God damn, it's the weekend, and I can't go live until I get my phone fit. This guy loves the weekend. Ugh. I want some alcohol, I want some cigarettes, but that's just going to have to wait, I guess. Well, as far as the alcohol goes, I'm broke, so I'll have to wait until I get some more money, and uh, 
<laughs> that jar of banana Reese's peanut butter cup mead is not going to be done until Halloween. It's got no money for alcohol. Just waiting on that, waiting on that mead to brew by Halloween. When it's all said and done, I'm going to have a Reese's peanut butter cup banana mead that will be like 18% alcohol by volume, which is a little bit stronger than your traditional meads. But uh, yeah, it should be tasty. Like, can you believe this? After all the horrible crap Jessica accused me of doing, you know, and now she wants to make another trip back to Casper when we all know why she's coming back because she wants this you know what I'm saying I'm not having it I'm not having it no, I'm not <laughs> she wants to you it. know what and I'm she saying takes her delusional mind that okay we've got a uh, Dustin back here chilling on a blanket must be nice if you give me sex and clean my my house then I want to take you back you're as delusional and psychotic as my YouTube she cleaned his house while she was there again he trolls dear off. Oh, I, when I made that video standing up for myself, being like, don't believe any of her bull****, you know? She called one of my friends through her phone, started fighting with me while I'm at my friend's house trying to enjoy their company. Why'd you make that nasty video about me? And I'm like, excuse me? It wasn't a nasty video. I was standing up for myself. I don't know. I feel like it leaves a lot of like context out. He was at a friend's house, and she called his friend to yell at Josh? Like, did you tell her where you were? Why does she have your friend's number? Is oh my god, you guys need to let it go. No, I can't tell if she's my biggest troll or if she really likes me because this is psychotic. Jessica Boyle has borderline personality disorder and oh, she's very self-deprecating she craves the attention the internet gives her but then when it blows up in her face she can't handle it and she sees how much attention right. i get so part of her and her little deranged psychotic mind she's like "Ooh!" but then when she pushes it too far she can't handle it and jessica Boyle. i don't know she's gotta she's gotta enjoy her constant state of rage to 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 some point because you just keeps ending up in it right the kind of person that will push your buttons and push you to your limits and then play victim or act concerned when it goes too far you know it's psychotic it's manipulative and she does it for attention and for clout Ooh. to get people to feel sorry for her and i'm so sick of it sick of it and then i did call the cops on her when she showed up Okay, he's he's already mentioned this, but he did not go into much detail at all. And the cop took, the, you know, because I called a non-emergency number. Well, that was your first mistake. <laughs> it's clearly an emergency. And when the cop did show up the first time, Jessica Boyle acted like she was hurt. Like I can't believe you would do that. And like I told you, if you show up to my house, it's gonna happen. I told her we broke up. I told her I do not want to see her. And if you come but to I my told house. Her. You're basically stalking me at this point, and you will be dealt with. But the first time dealt the cops with. showed up, me and Jessica were drinking. We were getting along, so I figured, yeah, you know, maybe she's matured a bit. Maybe we can handle this like mature adults. <laughs> but was I wrong? You know, when Jessica Boyle's being super on stream, and the cops show up to her house, she'll flip out and be like, it's bull****. I'm of tired of the cops being called on me, blah, blah, blah. But then, huh. She does it to me, accusing me of the same and other things as well. What kind of other things, Josh? Things that I would never do. What kind of things? She is such a hypocrite, dude. It's like Jessica Boyle wants to accuse me of being abusive, and yet somehow she still wants to plan a trip out here to Casper. Her, dude. Insufferable. You know, I get depressed, and, uh, you know, making oh? my homemade mead... It gives me a hobby outside of everything else that I can do. That you know, what I'm saying. It would it would be wholesome and nice if he if he wasn't such a raging alcoholic. Staring at the jar like, ooh, I hope it tastes good. I hope it's <laughs> this is the the most innocent part about King Cobra JFS. It gets me drunk. What's that the point? No, I'm sick of it, dude. <laughs> I'm not caving a second time after all the bull with you last time I caved. I'm like, no, you know. And it's like, okay, if I'm such a piece person how come you, you don't see any bruises on her face or anything like that you know well that doesn't necessarily prove anything and it's weird that you would suggest that it does especially because like that, that that thinking like invalidates a lot of claims of abuse yeah, because jessica so. boyle is full of and i told this we broke up leave me alone yeah you know what i'm saying i can't handle her psychotic bull I mean, I know I've got mental problems. I love how mean he gets to her when he's like, when he feels like he's like done. But Jesus Christ is a. Co 
Jessica Boyle makes me look sane in comparisons. I can't stand <laughs> her, dude. It's a roller coaster of emotions, and I shouldn't have to put up with it. And you know, it goes up, and it's like, okay, when Jessica Boyle's not being a complete psycho, she's decent enough to get along with, but then when well, she's down here, it's like, you want, you know what I'm saying? You can't handle it. Right, you know? and one doesn't excuse the other. Like, no, no, that. I could find a girlfriend here in town in her 20s that's way harder. Than- Maybe, may, you know what? Maybe you should be looking for one in their 30s. And, you know, after reflecting on yourself a little bit. That has way less drama and way less psychotic bull- I don't deserve this crap, you know? And it's like if Jessica Boyle really loved me, she would give me my space. Wake the f*** up. And when I called her out on her stalking the first time, and I quote, she said this. It's not stalking, Josh, because I love you. Pretty oh, scary. That's not how it works for guys. If I tried pulling that crap with one of my exes or one of my ex crushes, I would be in jail for stalking, dude. Get the f out of here. Of course, you okay. my ass. You see what Jessica posted on her Facebook? And I'm like, yeah, 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 I saw. I saw what was going on. Update on deathbed tapes. I'm not going to be able to put the uh, record on vinyl because the album's too long. And some of the beats I use are copyrighted. Finally. Been saying this the whole time. I have been saying this the whole time. That just because something says, like, free to use, they're probably talking about, like, in a non-monetized, non-published way. Like, yeah, it's free to use in the background of your school project. Totally different when you want to actually, like, submit it to a publisher and stuff. I already said Isaiah's he's not getting the proper rights to the to these instrumentals that he's taking. Even though I said free in the title, so that's a bit misleading, you know? And it's not like Deathbed Tapes isn't going to uh-huh. upload the entire album to YouTube. The title look, said free in it. But listen to it for free anyways. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to have to get permission from... Uh, the copyrighted beats, and, uh, you know... Yeah, and they're going to say $100 or something. So it's not that big of a deal. But the album now is going to be on tapes as usual, and it'll include uh, Chainsaw Sicko Massacre on vinyl, which is a song I wrote about massacring sex pests with a chainsaw. Yeah. Wow. Similar to Bell Tower Bashing, which is a song about smashing sickos, sex pest skulls, unlike church bells and sh- that's a bit gruesome nice. if you think about it. But anyways, I digress. <laughs> Looking forward to trying that mead. It's going to be delicious. I think on Halloween, that will be a nice little Halloween treat for me, man, you know. But I don't have any money to go to the bar on Halloween in my costume. I'm more than likely going to stay at home and drink because it's less drama. No uh, trip to uh, Frosty's for a live stream this year? I got to bring it up every time. That was a crazy Halloween. It was live streaming at Frosty's. People kept calling the bar to, like, say weird stuff about him, and then he got kicked out. He got kicked out of Frosty's all live. <laughs> and you know what it is? My YouTube trolls are too old to trick-or-treat, and they're not old enough to go to the bar and drink, so when they see Cobra having a good time, oh, well, 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 we can't stand that. You know what I'm saying? We can't stand that. Oh, we can't stand that. That's why I avoid filming at the bars anymore. And if I do film a video at the bar, it's about the food, and then I don't get anything else in the shop but me and the food. Me and the food. That's it. You know? And people still find it, huh? That or my trolls are too broke to go out and drink on Halloween, so they take it out on Cobra. And last night, I did <laughs> talk to my fans on Discord. Bro, you're too broke to go out and drink on Halloween. But because I was feeling a little depressed about the whole Jessica situation and life in general, and, you you know, they were here for me, and I appreciate that. Talk to fans but on like, Discord? You know, Must I'm be saying, nice. Jessica Boyle going on Facebook saying the only reason she's going live on Twitch is so she can make money to come stalk me some more. That is e-begging 101. You should go live on your social media platforms because you want to entertain your fans. You still on this? you enjoy doing it. Not because you want to make money. This is why, you know, when I ask people to donate to my cash app or PayPal, I'm like, here's where you can do it. You don't have to, but if you do, it's greatly appreciated. The classiest live streamer of all time, King Cobra JFS. Versus Jessica. Following all, all, uh, following all the correct manners. Just flat out just saying, well, yeah, this rules. is the only reason, you know. And I'm like, F- that Dude, no, I can't stand Jessica, dude. She's the worst. You know, you gotta walk on eggshells around her. You gotta be patient with her because she's got mental problems. And 
Oh. Anyone says, I would never hit a woman unless she had a gun to my head. You know, you know what? You might... You might get that opportunity pretty soon. No, I like how Jessica Boyle was telling me how to work my... Asking me, how, how do you work your shotgun, you know? She was telling me how... To, ugh, I messed that up. Hold up. Ooh, retract. I jumbled my words. No, but Jessica Boyle was asking me how to work my shotgun so she could... And I told her, I said, you're not doing that in my house. You're not doing that to my... <laughs> His response was, you're not doing that in my house? That's it? That's an outdoor activity. Gun. you. Knock it off. No, it pissed me off. I bought her a four Brutal. pack of the Samuel Smith organic chocolate stout. That is the best beer I've ever had in my life. It's made in jolly old Yorkshire, England, which made me spurg super hard because I love British culture. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when I got a little bit of money in my culture. paper, I thought, you know what? I'll send her a four pack because uh -huh. I said I would. Being a man of my word. And then instead of going on Facebook and saying, well, thanks to whoever said the beer bottoms up, you know what she said? Sending me beer is not an apology, but oh well, bottoms up. And I'm like, He's probably spent so much money to send her his favorite beer. And she throws it in his face like that. And that he, does not, he can't even afford alcohol right now. He could have had that. He could have had his favorite beer. Like, really? 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 You know, yeah, I will apologize for yelling at her, but you know what? In my defense, you piss Jessica off or get her in a mood when she's drinking, or or in general, you know what I'm saying? She's like a ticking time bomb. I don't know what's going to piss her off and what doesn't. And you know what I'm saying? You know? Sure. We're sitting there watching Tombstone, the movie. All I want, yes. all I want to do is sit down and watch Tombstone with her, and Jessica Boyle is so ADHD, she can't just sit down watch a movie asking me a million questions i'm like and i try telling her you don't know you, you, okay western gun the fight that started because he was trying to watch his favorite movie and she wouldn't shut up guns work just like any other gun you put bullets in the chamber you cock the mechanism and you pull the trigger and it goes bang and we were both I, and you know what my stupid ass got an, a big old bottle of jack daniels to share with her because I figured bad you know, move. let's bad cuddle move. on the couch with a little bit of whiskey and watch a western movie. The ending to that movie is so perfect for like a date night kind of thing, you know. Why Wyatt Earp comes in, see Josephine at the end of the movie. No it's like, I don't know how we're gonna make the money. I have no dignity and no pride. And then he tells her, you know, you seen the movie, you know what's up. No. I thought, brilliant. But no, she and I'm like, so I'm like, I, I've seen the movie a million times. She's not paying attention to it because she can't just sit down and watch a movie. Right. You know what kills me about that? Jessica Boyle is like obsessed with Bjork. Bjork's her favorite. So right. Can't get enough of her. And I Man, there's a pretty big hole ripping in the back of his chair, it looks like. I'm noticing right behind his shoulder. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I think Bjork's music is it's not my cup of tea, but Jessica <laughs> wants me to listen to her so badly, so I'm like, you know what? I'll listen to her for the sake of the arguments. Josh, Josh, next next song, Josh, Josh, next song, put on Bjork, Josh, Josh, you said the next song. A million questions. You know what I'm saying? I didn't crap all over her, whatever. I gave Bjork a chance because it's what she's into. It's what she's all about. You know what I'm saying? Josh, she, she can't extend the same audience to me. You know? I'm tired of, Je I'm tired of Jessica Boyle's bull. I feel sorry for Bjork because <laughs> Jessica Boyle is one of her biggest fans. This is dude. What about Ozzy? Do you feel bad for Ozzy? At Bjork. <laughs> no. Jessica Boyle's a bigger alcoholic than I am, and she can't handle her like I can, you know? And just Jessica Boyle would drink every day if she could afford it. That's the thing of it. Hmm. But she can't, and she can't handle her. She gets to a point where she blacks out, and then she becomes a complete psycho. Oh, it's frustrating, mm. man. I told just all that we broke up, and if I have to get a restraining order, I will because I'm not playing this crap. I told Jess. Oh, he means business now. Restraining order, like that'll stop her. That we broke up, and she won't take the hints. Like, and when Jessica Boyle's pissed off at me, she does the absolute worst to me. But then the next day, she'll take it back and be like, I'm sorry, Josh. I was just angry at you. I didn't mean to do it. Bull. And you know what kills me about the whole thing, YouTube, is I would never call the cops on Jessica for anything. Unless I knew she was physically going to hurt herself or, you know, 
or like hurt somebody else. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jessica Boyle wants to fight with me on camera while she's going live on her stupid Instagram. What else would you call a cop? Okay, whatever. And it caused all this drama and bull. And it's like, here's a thought. It's just, just a thought from my perspective. Put the camera down. Say, hey guys, sorry, I f***ed up. I gotta go. Me and Josh are gonna talk about this like mature adults. But no, she doesn't do that. Oh, is that all she really does all this crap for, for the drama and for the attention on her social media. And when people see how awful she is as a person, it bites her in the ass. And I'm tired of it, YouTube. <sighs> I want some cigarettes and I want some goddamn alcohol. It's the weekend, you know. It's this guy loves the weekend. He's been working hard all week and now he gets a couple days off. There we go. You know, get my new album done. I've got like two more songs left and I've created so many songs up to those last two that I'm kind of burnt out on the songs. I'm sure it really uh, staggered his uh, momentum to hear that half of the songs are... <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> so I gotta recharge my creative juices. And like I said, the new album's too long for a vinyl record, so it's gonna be on tape, I guess. And we'll include a vinyl of, you know, the song about massacring sickos with a chainsaw kind of thing. Can't you know? wait. So there you go. But that's the scoop of the situation. And if you think Jessica Boyle's the absolute worst, she's a creepy stalker psycho, and you agree with everything I'm saying, you like what I'm digging and laying down, hit the like button, subscribe for more. And uh, if she thinks we're getting back together, she is so delusional. You know what she tried to ask me? I don't know. We'll have to see what happens, though. Hey, you're not other chicks in your house, are you? And even if I was, it's none of your business. Because we are broken up. She just keep talking about those rug burns he has. Uh, we broke up. And when I told my dad about the situation, he was not happy about it, dude. He was like, Oh, no, Clint is informed. Uh-oh. Hey, that's bull****. He told her not to show up to your house. You told her we broke up, but she did it anyways. Despite the fact she said she wasn't going to do it. That's the kicker of it. It's just Jessica Boyle said, I would never show up to your... Clint is informed. This is serious. ...place without your permission. And then she does it anyways. Come on, dude. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it, dude. Sick of it. I want to say I appreciate my family and my fans and my friends for always being there in case I need someone to talk to or vent, you know Aww. what I'm saying? And just let it all out. No, I ordered some Taco Bell last night. So Must I be nice. A, a chalupa I didn't eat last night, so there you go. I'll have there that for lunch when I get hungry. Surely he'll make a video out of that, huh? I have something in my stomach. I, I, I don't eat that much anymore, you know? I just, yeah. I try to eat at least one thing a day, though, so I'm not completely starving myself. And the reason why I took so what? long to shout out all my Cash App and PayPal shout outs is because, you know... It's not about the money. It's about the connection I have with my fans. But anyways, YouTube, hope y'all are having a big Friday or have one at least, and I'll catch you cool cobras later. There you go. The biggest thing from that, that he talked about it with Clint, huh? You, you best believe he'll be ready for next time. I was also very amused by him saying how annoying he finds Bjork. Just because of like how insistent Jessica was like, Josh, Joshy, you said you'd, Josh, next song, you said you'd blame Bjork. Joshy, Joshy, this isn't Bjork, Joshy. But we got nothing new on Josh's Facebook, but I, okay, fine, we'll get into the scary stuff now. I gotta be very careful about this. Okay, so uh, I missed a bunch of stuff. I'll just start from where we left off. Sad, oh, there you go. Sad or hilarious? Coward hiding behind his dad, but unblocked me on Facebook to be petty and spy lies to me while i'm there smears my name when i'm gone very sad cooked cleaned his fridge that was horrible his computer room just for him to spill alcohol over it again spending my money for him to have essentials napkins napkin holder paper towels etc ah the essentials napkin holder 23 hours ago posted this screenshot picture what couch is that is that a friend's house or something no idea liver failure slash bloating from all the alcohol his feet are so swollen and he hates me so much took the 3830 pants i made because anything he had before sadly doesn't fit him anymore does she think this is gonna get him back you think ridiculing him is gonna be like i'm sorry jessica hates me so bad though took the pants shrug where did his $1,200 go. Could have made a wand. 
I offered several times before that live stream to take him to Home Depot. How would you take him to, anyway? Uh, it is kind of messed up he hasn't made that wand yet. That someone paid for already. But like, really? You, you, you're calling him fat? Like... <laughs> You should have, you should have loved me, Joshy. There's still time. Posted these pictures. I used them for the last thumbnail, I think. Uh, he's, he looks like he's having so much fun, you know, just, he's really, really happy about all this. 21 hours ago. If you want to call me by my name, knowing damn well what you're doing, we can keep this going. Since you guys love sending Josh stuff, send him some monostat or jock itch for his yeast infection on his thighs you know from the lack of bathing 33 year old claims he, he had no clue what it was yeah bro it would be from your lack of showering does she think this is gonna get him back and also please remember this for uh, a few moments from now that she said he doesn't shower and it's causing a yeast infection on his thighs okay now here's where it starts getting real bad uh so she started posting these pictures uh i'm not even gonna scroll all the way down because like this is this is so wrong of her uh is there her um j just sucking on this surprised emoji that is definitely not just just covering up anything else she she posted like an entire album of uh her her sucking on these uh different emojis you know many of them seem to have been pictures taken uh you know from from the emojis perspective a pov comment her she commented on it saying cash app two thousand dollars to see more what is this like third party extortion it's this is revenge porn you can't do this. And f <laughs> first of all, he's not consenting to the dr distribution of these. Second, I am sorry to say there's plenty <laughs> of other places you can find pictures of him and uh, and worse. If that's what you're going for, they're already out there. He has had accounts on various sites it's it's nothing new but also you're doing this without his consent she for some reason paired a picture shared a picture of some cannoli dip josh would raise twelve hundred dollars just to give it to a prostitute in the streets and take me to wendy's instead i don't know that sentence really didn't make much sense to me how's that any of her business posted this video 21 seconds i don't know what it is i apologize for it being so loud outside considering my neighbors whatever thing is right here looks like an air conditioner but um someone finally actually sent me something that i've been wanting since my birthday and why is she showing it whoever's been sending me this i don't i apologize she, she for being so did she not she doesn't want she doesn't want the alcohol sent to her okay she's too good for her okay I don't know why she's like showing like See, the order number and stuff. Uh, I don't know who this person is, but. Oh my God. What a hater. Bro. No, That's your parents yard. What are you doing? You idiot. Oh my God. She has six cats or something that she lets outside. You fool! What are you doing? Dumbass! Just broke a glass bottle in her parents' walkway while she's like half sitting on her neighbor's property. Oh my god. Also, isn't that gonna kill the grass? That is like probably her neighbor's? She doesn't care. What an awful person. Shared something, content's not available right now. Since 16 hours ago, since Josh wanted to lie to me, I'll go through court system to get my black shoes back he wanted to bs me about i didn't ever ask for much only my st and only my stuff back not stupid stuff he wanted to be rid of there is no shot there's no shot anyone in the legal system will take you up on some goodwill shoes you haven't gotten back from casper wyoming Please be realistic. Also, since Josh is a coward and I can't talk to him privately and he wants to do this publicly, quit saying my full name in your videos. You know exactly what you're doing and I will get my lawyer, she has a lawyer, to privacy strike you for every video you mention my full name. A 
privacy strike. I feel like you could probably just say like, oh no, I'm talking about someone else or something like that. I don't know. You asked me in August to stop mentioning you in videos and I have yet you haven't quit to cease and desist on my name. Wanted to tell you that privately had nothing to do about staying quote with you. Keep it up and I will have all those videos struck, little kissy face. Going out to the bar alone. Wish I was with Josh. That's crazy. That's crazy. She's a crazy person for saying that. She, she called him a fat, swollen alcoholic. She said he's got yeast infections from not showering. She's saying someone send her $2,000 and she'll expose his nudes or something. Threatening him with, <laughs> with legal stuff. And it's like, wish I was with Josh at this bar. That's crazy. That's really crazy stuff. Is it like, is it like a threat? Like all this can end if we get back together? Cause that's still crazy. He also wanted to do karaoke with me, sad face. Yet we never did. Also never did Crimson Dawn, know what I do what that is. Or our gothic picnic at the cemetery. I just wanted to show him what love could be. My heart is so broken. You're crazy. This is crazy person talk. Terrifying. Shared a, a post from like better help. <laughs> Being single for periods of time can actually have huge benefits to your mental health and self-esteem. And she says, six year dry spells make you hurt the ones that love you. <laughs> okay. Uh, more things of her uh, uh, kissing some emojis. Hi, Tucker. There's a bunch, bunch more of these pictures that I just don't even want to show the full thing of. Brings up, 12 hours ago, brings up rug burns in a video. Still doesn't say where they came from. You say a whole lot of nothing. I don't, I don't recall him bringing it up, but I guess I'm just missing it. Couples who drink together live longer, study suggests. Crying laughing emoji. Oh, uh, just refresh. Looks like she's posting uh, pictures that she took of him sleeping, which is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Uh, and looks like she is currently live with a completely black screen. I'll wait for uh, whatever results from this, I guess, because I'm not I'm not doing this. This is ridiculous. But yeah, that's where we're at. Um, it's I was not expecting it to get this bad, at least for the online portion. Wants two thousand dollars to to expose private images of him. That's that's too much. You shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. That's taking things too far. I mean, like hundred bucks tops. No, just kidding. <laughs> Still terrible. But uh, that's that's where we're at, everybody. It's it's really bad. <laughs> I, I feel like it's still going to continue to get worse, so we'll see. I'll try to keep you updated, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye. 